Welcome, dear viewers, to another enlightening episode of The Word of Life. Today, we're diving deep into the captivating story of Prophet Jonah. This tale isn't just about a reluctant prophet and a giant fish. It's a powerful narrative that speaks to us about God's unwavering love, faith, repentance, and the incredible impact of His Word. So, grab your Bible and let's embark on this extraordinary journey together. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss our faith-filled content. Now, let's set sail into the remarkable story of Jonah. Jonah 1 verses 1 to 3. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Our journey begins with the call of Jonah, a prophet of God. God commissions Jonah to go to Nineveh, a city known for its wickedness, and deliver a message of repentance. But rather than heeding God's call, Jonah attempts to flee in the opposite direction, seeking refuge in Tarshish. Jonah 1 verses 4 to 6 But the Lord hurled a great wind upon the sea, and there was a mighty tempest on the sea, so that the ship threatened to break up. Then the mariners were afraid, and each cried out to his God. And they hurled the cargo that was in the ship into the sea to lighten it for them. But Jonah had gone down into the inner part of the ship, and had lain down, and was fast asleep. So the captain came and said to him, What do you mean, you sleeper? Arise, call out to your God. Perhaps the God will give a thought to us that we may not perish. God, however, does not allow Jonah to escape his divine calling without a challenge. He sends a fierce storm upon the sea, threatening to destroy the ship Jonah is on. While the crew desperately prays to their gods for salvation, Jonah is found asleep in the ship's hold. It's essential to note that Jonah's attempt to evade God's mission not only endangers his life, but also the lives of those around him. This highlights the consequences of resisting God's call in our own lives, as our actions can impact others in unexpected ways. Jonah's time in the belly of the fish. Jonah 1 verse 17. And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. In a remarkable turn of events, God appoints a great fish to swallow Jonah. Jonah finds himself in the dark belly of this creature for three days and three nights. This period of isolation serves as a time of reflection and repentance for Jonah. Inside the fish, Jonah cries out to God, acknowledging his disobedience and the error of his ways. It's here that Jonah experiences a profound transformation, realizing the need to surrender to God's will. Jonah 3 verses 1 to 3, Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. After his time in the belly of the fish, Jonah receives a second divine call from God. This time, he obediently sets out for Nineveh, carrying God's message of impending judgment. Jonah delivers this message throughout the city, proclaiming that in 40 days, Nineveh will be overthrown. Jonah 3 verses 4 to 5. Jonah began to go into the city, going on a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They called for a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least of them. Remarkably, the people of Nineveh respond to Jonah's message with genuine repentance. They fast, put on sackcloth, and turn from their evil ways. Even the king himself humbles himself before God and calls for repentance. 
This powerful display of repentance prompts God to relent from the disaster he had planned for Nineveh. It's a testament to God's boundless mercy and his willingness to forgive when people turn to him with contrite hearts. Now let's explore the three key takeaways from Jonah's journey that emphasize the importance of relying on God in our lives. Takeaway 1. God's plans are perfect. Jonah 1 verses 4 to 16. But the Lord hurled a great wind upon the sea, and there was a mighty tempest on the sea, so that the ship threatened to break up. Then the mariners were afraid, and each cried out to his God. And they hurled the cargo that was in the ship into the sea to lighten it for them. But Jonah had gone down into the inner part of the ship and had lain down and was fast asleep. So the captain came and said to him, What do you mean, you sleeper? Arise, call out to your God. Perhaps the God will give a thought to us that we may not perish. In these verses we see that God doesn't let Jonah escape his call without a divine intervention. A great storm arises, threatening to destroy the ship Jonah is on. While everyone else is terrified, Jonah sleeps soundly below deck, oblivious to the chaos above. This reminds us that God's plans are perfect and His timing is impeccable. Jonah's journey teaches us that even when we run from God's call, He pursues us with His grace and correction. We must trust that God's purpose will prevail even in the midst of life's storms. Takeaway 2. God's compassion. Knows no bounds. Jonah 1 verse 17. And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. One of the most iconic parts of Jonah's story is his time in the belly of the great fish. God uses this unconventional means to rescue Jonah and provide him with an opportunity for repentance. It's a powerful demonstration of God's boundless compassion and his willingness to extend second chances to those who turn to him. Jonah's experience inside the fish reminds us that even in our darkest moments, when we feel swallowed by our problems, God's love and mercy are ever-present. We can find hope in the fact that, like Jonah, we can turn to God in repentance, and He will respond with forgiveness and restoration. Takeaway 3. Surrendering to God's Will. Jonah 3 verses 1 to 3. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. After Jonah's ordeal in the belly of the fish, he finally surrenders to God's will and goes to Nineveh as instructed. This moment marks a profound turning point in Jonah's journey. He obeys God's call, delivering the message of repentance to the city. Jonah's story encourages us to surrender to God's will in our own lives. It teaches us that true peace and fulfillment are found in obedience to God's calling. When we align our will with His, incredible transformation can occur not only in our lives, but in the lives of those around us. As we wrap up this incredible journey through the life of Jonah, let's reflect on the importance of having a genuine relationship with God. Jonah's story highlights how, despite his shortcomings and initial reluctance, God never gave up on him. Similarly, God never gives up on us. Trusting in God, relying on His guidance, and cultivating a genuine relationship with Him is the key to navigating the storms of life. It's about realizing that God's love and grace are always available to us no matter how far we've strayed. Thank you for joining us today on The Word of Life. We hope this exploration of the story of Prophet Jonah with its added details has inspired and enlightened you. Remember, just as Jonah discovered, our faith journey may have twists and turns, but God's love and purpose remain constant. Before we go, we want to hear from you. Share your insights and thoughts in the chat box below. Let's engage in a meaningful discussion about Jonah's story 
and its relevance in our lives today. And if you haven't already, please consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and ringing that notification bell so you can stay updated with more enriching content from the Word of Life. In closing, always remember to trust God, embrace His Word, and nurture a genuine relationship with Him. Until next time, may the Word of Life guide your path. Thank you for your time and God bless you abundantly.